Hello and welcome to David's World and on today's episode we have this envelope. Now I've been thinking on how I was going to do this envelope on the grounds of what is inside it. This is something much more unusual. This is something that we don't normally get. But this is a... I opened it just to check on it because I've had it for a month or so. So, this was fairly cheap, but it is a film prop. You could see. Are we ready to take it? It's not very big, but it does come in parts. Now you're confused as hell. And I'm going to have to change the angle of the camera and everything and to show you the individual bits close up I won't be able to just hold them up again I don't think the camera's gonna like that so we're gonna have to do this on a flat surface yes this is a bit more unusual that's why it's gonna take a bit longer to do so we have this envelope I have a hold of the item do you want to see? Okay, this is actually from um, one of my top films that I like. So that's why I bought it. It was something unusual. So. As you see, it's red. One envelope. What do we have here? What we have here it doesn't make any difference, does it? It's the same on both sides. <laughs> what we have here is a wallet. A red wallet with black. Now, this is a movie prop. So a wallet exactly like this was in a movie. But, as I said, there's more to it. Now, what I paid for this, and what I tried to find out how much this wallet cost by itself, was very close to how much I paid for it. So, the contents of this wallet are almost insignificant to the item price of this item itself. So, open in the Velcro. And from now on, you're not going to see my ugly mush because the only way for me to show you this is close up. So we're going to go to close up now. Okay, so we have moved to this heads down view. I have a number of small items, so we will do all the small items now. So as you see, this is Hill Valley high school and this is the character and if you can read this Marty Mac J McFly so from that Marty McFly and Hill Valley and who this is Michael J Fox do we have any idea so we end up with a another card and he's driving a copy of his driving license nothing on the back which has his address on it as well I don't think I can get it to focus anymore right. there you go a little better so, second bit, third bit, we have Emmett Brown, nothing on the back, item three, 
item for when I'm finished throwing it around. Social Security for Marty McFly. Next we have a stage kiss concert ticket. All of these are in little plastic items. So what shall we go to now? We have Library of Hill Valley. Biff Tannen Museum. Now if you remember that is when Biff got all that money after he got the almanac which told him all the races that would be won and he turns Hill Valley into a complete and utter disaster area. Cusco employee for Marty. That was the Chinese company that Marty worked for and that he got fired from. If you need a scientist, we have his telephone number for Emmett Brown Enterprises. Since he's an inventor, all of them have nothing on the other side. Uh, one movie ticket to the Twin Pines Multiplex. We have the date, August 55, was it 55, 85, 85. We have one free Pepsi voucher to use at a 7-Eleven, expires on November the 26th, 1985. Just the type of thing you would carry around in your wallet. We have a picture of Marty and his girlfriend. Mind the picture. Marty's head looks totally different. It was superimposed onto it. See how it's a different shade to her head. But there's that. Then we have the photograph. If you remember, they all start vanishing off the picture. So that is the start photo for it. And we have Marty McFly's Hill Valley Tardy Slip from 1985. And don't forget Strickland is the one who turns up in all of them. He is the headmaster principal of the school Marty goes to and always says people are going to be slackers. Now I have Pull back out a little bit now. So we had all of them little bits. Now we have some bigger items, some A4 paper, Battle of the Bands audition. This is the audition that Marty went to with his band. Um, and the person who said you play too loud was from a group who sings in the song. So I'm just so come stuck to opening the, the other two bits of paper that I've got. So we have his audition which he goes to and gets told he's too loud we have a folded paper of the flux capacitor the flux capacitor with that 
and the most important one we have Save the Clock Tower. These leaflets were handed out and Marty was handed one by one of the people and he folded it up because it has the set time of when it's going to get struck by lightning and on the back this is where Marty's girlfriend writes a telephone number on the piece of paper and he folds it up and puts it into his wallet. All of the items came in the wallet. I don't think there's anything else in this side. Well, that was the only side I didn't have. Um, so all of these items came in the wallet and all for like eight pound. So although it doesn't take much to print off the pictures, the rest of the stuff that came in it. So all are items which are used within the movie. So, although I don't remember whenever he had this in his hand, but all of the things that he would have in his wallet when he was doing it, they are copies of what was used in the movie. So, let's go back to me. Thank you for having a look at it. And please like, comment and subscribe. And I will find something else unusual for my next box opening. Bye for now.